Hey Cherubs, it's Matt. A lot of trainees ask me why Jerry is a required rotation. Yeah, yeah, I get it. There's a ton of old people out there. But Jerry is so boring. Let's talk about the archetypal geriatrics disease, Alzheimer's disease. Imagine if you were to rank the leading causes of death in America. Where would Alzheimer's disease rank on this list? Now, I'm gonna assume that you don't know the actual answer because we are still here! But I'm also gonna assume that you're pretty smart because if you're watching this video, that either means you're a medical professional or my mother. Hi, Mom. If you're gonna make an educated guess, you'd probably put Alzheimer's disease in the top 100 simply by virtue of the fact that it's an illness that you can name. And hey, you'd be correct. Yay, good job. Okay, but you're still not satisfied. Top 100? Come on, we should be putting more time and effort focusing on the top 10. My time is limited, and I can't spend more time focusing on irrelevant number six. Let that sink in for a bit. The first time I saw this, it blew my mind. Number six? How do people die of being senile? No, no, it's not possible. I call shenanigans. How do you beat diabetes? How many times in your life have you been able to say that you're in the top six in the nation? And when you look at this list, Alzheimer's disease is the one illness on here that doesn't have good methods of prevention or treatment. Let's take a look at heart disease for a second. Between 2000 and 2015, deaths from heart disease have decreased by 11%. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't mean to imply that heart disease isn't a problem, or that it's easily preventable or treatable, but we do have decent options, and they're getting better all the time. For Alzheimer's, we got... Ugh, more on this later. There are currently about 5.7 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. That may or may not sound like a lot to you. Well, consider this. The prevalence of HIV in America is about 1.1 million, and I assume that HIV doesn't strike you as some obscure problem. The estimated financial burden on America for all dementias in 2018 was $277 billion. Now, if you're like I am, that number is so big, it doesn't really mean anything to you. So let's make this personal. You love your family, right? Well, yeah, of course. More than anything? <laughs> you bet. So when I tell you that your poor mother has dementia, and that you're going to need to quit your job to stay at home with her to turn her every two hours to prevent her from developing pressure injuries, you're going to say, wait, where are you going? Get back here. I'm not done with you yet. OK, OK, so you're not going to quit your job. So when your mom gets really sick, uh, you're going to put her in a nursing home. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, how much does that cost? Well, Kukini actually posts their prices on the walls. So let's take a look. So as we can see, the cost of a semi-private room is $375 per day. That comes out to about $135,000 per year. This ain't covered by Medicare. And keep in mind, this doesn't include medications or doctor's visits. Well, the cost doesn't matter because I want the best for my mother. So at least she'll be in a safe... Oh, right. Well, at least I know a lot about quality nursing home medicine because I spend a lot of time- Uh, yup! Let me be real with you for a second. Geriatrics isn't the most glamorous field. I get it. But our Kapuna built the world in which we live, so I think we owe it to them to take care of them. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating disease because it bereaves you of what makes you, you. And this is a problem that's going to get worse before it gets better. There won't be enough geriatricians to manage every patient with dementia out there, so we're going to need your help. So I entreat you to learn as much about this illness as possible.